Oh, I initially learned about Korea by becoming a K-pop stan. I became a fan of BTS in 2017, and that is what brought me into the world of Korea. I got to get interested about the food, the culture, the people, and I've gone to travel to Korea prior to my exchange a couple of times as well. But the thing that brought me to Korea University though is a YouTube video by a creator called Yongguk Namja. And uh, he has previously been a student at KU and he was showcasing the university festival, Ipsalanti. In that video, they showcase the cheering culture of Korea, the songs that students sing that resemble KU and then the songs also include these dance moves. It's like a cheering move so that's basically moshing like very violently like this. <laughs> so that I just saw that and I was like oh I need to experience it once in my life. Yeah Yongguk Namja uh, brought me to know about KU and get interested. Uh, in my home university we don't really have dorm dormitory accommodation or such a, a student-oriented neighborhood around the campus because in KU, you have all these different majors in one area of Anamdong and everyone's here in one place. Everyone's going from uh, the same buildings, same cafeterias, same study halls, and you end up meeting so many people from different majors, different kind of backgrounds in one place and especially because the dormitory I stayed at last semester it's right next door mm -hmm. so you're very like in a student zone mm -hmm. and I don't get that experience back home mm -hmm. so that's one thing that really contrasts from my experiences in university what I'm used to back home so mm -hmm. I enjoy that kind of environment where you're immersed in a student life of KU. One of the most memorable moments actually happened last week when the International Student Festival happened. In the uh, International Student Festival, different countries hold their own booths. So you display games, sports, food, songs, like anything you can think of from your own culture, you display it for everyone in the middle of a school day. So in the Finnish booth, we decided to bake these pastries called Karelian pies. Uh, they're savory pastries that's like the thing in Finland, like everyone knows what it is. So we wanted to give a chance for students here to also see a little glimpse of that. And giving out pastries included a lot of baking the day prior. So eight hours of baking together with our group and we finished like past midnight, so it was hard work. But then on the day of the actual International Student Festival, we could really enjoy looking at people, enjoy our culture, enjoy the food. It was just such an amazing vibe all around and everyone's enjoying it so much. Um, I'm gonna graduate back home, but then for my master's, I am really considering on possibly coming back to Korea to do my master's degree here. If that can't happen, I really want more experiences abroad because this experience as a whole has been so eye-opening and I want to challenge myself more and I find I thrive in environments like this where I'm living in a new country, meeting so many new people, having so many different experiences. So for my future, I do want something abroad, something new, again like this. Uh, whatever abroad choice you end up choosing, like truly take the most out of it. That's one thing I want to convey that take every opportunity you can to go out there, meet new people. Well, time is limited and semesters go very quickly. You're studying on the side, but then living such an amazing life as well. So the combination of the two just take it all in. Also the studying, because it's in a different country. You get such a different perspective in classes. And yeah, just enjoy. <laughs>